Welcome to Web Design Tutorials for HTML. This is lesson number 22, and in this lesson I'm going to talk about how to create an input field for a radio button and also for a checkbox. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have the previous document open from the previous tutorial. And once you have that open, we're going to look for the form that we worked on in the previous tutorial. And if you're having trouble finding that, just look for the closing order list tab, and right after that, you should see the form that we worked on. So let's go ahead and click right after the, the password uh, input field. And we're going to go ahead and create a closing line break. And if you don't already have that on yours, go ahead and write a closing line break tag. And then go ahead and hit the enter key. And then we're going to write our input field for the radio button. And before I go ahead and write that, I want to mention one thing. Our title is going to actually go at the end of our input field rather than at the beginning, like the previous input fields that we created. So if you look at the previous input fields, it has a title before the input field. But we're going to write ours at the very end of our input field. So let's go ahead and write angle bracket input, and then type equals radio for our HTML attribute because we're creating a radio input field. Hit the space bar key, and then write the word name equals gender because, because we're creating an input field for gender okay and then we're going to hit the space bar key and write value equals male because the value is going to equal male for the input field gender and then write the angle bracket and then for our title we're going to write the word male and that's what they're going to see on the front end when we write male in that location of our input field so hopefully you understand you know the different things that goes into the input field for a radio button the value is just basically what you're going to receive if they were to submit this to your email through a web form on your website so in other words the name attribute gender would come into your email and then it would have the equal sign and then the value would be male so it would be gender equals male for your email submission that you receive in your inbox so if that doesn't make sense to you leave a comment and I'll try to explain it a little bit better to you if you don't. So after you create that, let's go ahead and hit the spacebar key and then write another line break. And then hit the enter key and write our next input field for our radio button. So I'll write angle bracket input type equals radio. And then we'll write name equals gender. And then value equals female. And then angle bracket. In this case, we're going to write female, and then we go ahead and hit Control S. And let's go ahead and preview this in our web browser. And as you can see in our web browser, it says male and female, and we can select either one of these radio buttons by simply clicking on it with our mouse cursor. So hopefully you understand how that works for input fields for radio buttons. And if you do, let's go ahead and move on to the next subject. Go back to your HTML document. And in this case, we're going to write a line break after our, our last input field that we created. Write BR, and then closing part of the break tab. And then hit the enter key, and then write angle bracket, input type equals checkbox. So the only thing that really changes is the type HTML attribute. And as you can see, you just write the word checkbox. You then hit the space bar key, and then write name equals, and in this case, I'll write keyboard, because I'm going to talk about a keyboard brand for pianos. And then for our value, we'll write value equals Roland. And we'll write an angle bracket. And then for our title, we'll write Roland Anson X8. And that will be our first input field for a checkbox. And then go ahead and write another line break. And then hit the enter key. And then write input type equals checkbox. And then we'll write name equals keyboard. And then value equals uh, what's another company? Yamaha. I don't know if I can spell Yamaha. Okay, I think I spelled it right. Then write angle bracket, and then we'll write Yamaha Moti. 
and that'll be our last input field for a checkbox. And once you go ahead and do that, let's go ahead and hit Control S, and then go ahead and view that in our web browser. And I'll actually just bring up the original document and hit Control R to refresh that page. And for checkboxes, you can select more than one option. So if you were to select these two options and submit it to a, a web form and it went to your email, let's go ahead and go back and look at the input fields. The way that you would receive that is it would say keyboard equals rolling would be our first you know value that we receive in our email. For the second input field for our text box, if, if they selected that value, the way we would receive that in our email is it would read out in text form as keyboard equals Yamaha. So it would equal keyboard equals Roland and keyboard equals Yamaha. It wouldn't say Roland Phantom X8. It wouldn't say Yamaha Multi. So the reason that we've done this tutorial this way is because I want you to understand that it's important that your value equals what you want to receive in your email. Simply saying Roland or Yamaha isn't telling you what the actual value is. The actual value that we want to see is Roland Phantom X8 because we want to know exactly what brand and what model that that person is wanting to purchase or is interested in learning more about. So make sure that your value field writes out as Roland Phantom X8 and that your value is Yamaha Multi because that's the actual brand and model of the keyboard. So that's very important and I hope that you understand the importance of making sure that your value is exactly what you want to receive in your email. And also that your name makes sense as well. In this case it does make sense. Keyboard equals Rolling Phantom X8 and keyboard equals Yamaha Multi is what you will receive in your email if they selected those options on the front end of your website. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful in showing you how to use a radio input field and also a checkbox input field. And if it was, don't forget to embed, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.